Happy May to everybody. And I wanted to talk a little bit about the uh, frogs that have uh, been all over the property lately. I, actually, this year has been the most in past, but I, I wanted to talk about how I think I first got them to come. And this is actually was a, was a pond when I first got here. Uh, the guys that took the trees down for me, they dug this out for me. And it, it was about the size of a swimming pool. But just because of liability reasons and mosquito and just, there was just, I, I took it out. I pulled this one side of the wall out. And that first year, this filled up um, with water. And I would say it's probably about the size of a swimming pool. I don't know, maybe 10,000 gallons or so. So that's what started the frogs coming. And then when I took this out, I would had just some water stuff around, but I'll show you here what I've done this year to kind of promote them. Okay, as you can see, I haven't cut back the grass around the blueberries because I think this is a good place for them to hide and it's a good excuse for me to not have to cut it. But as you can see, these trays are full of water. So that promoted the frogs after I took the pond out they could live in there and then also I've put these water containers out if you can look back in there those ones are kind of hard to see but the little white dots back there those are eggs and then there's also some eggs up here on the top and then this is an old cast iron pot with a seashell in there Those are some that have hatched in there. And then I also, I've gotten kind of obsessed with these frogs. There's some eggs there. The little white ones, and they have like a membrane around them that protects them. And it actually sticks, like this one here, they laid the eggs, the female frog laid the eggs in, uh, in this little tray but they actually stuck to the bottom. So what I did is I just put this whole tray into another bigger tray, just so I didn't have to disturb them and take them off of the bottom. And then I'll show you down in the main garden here too, there's another area. All right, and I'll show you down here where I've got some more of those. Uh, they're actually, they were from the 99 cent store and they were like, I think for like dumping your oil or whatever. So God knows they're probably not the best plastic to have. That back there is weed suppression. Because I'm lazy, I don't like to cut the weeds all the time. But as you can see, the little white ones, and then also over in here, there's some that are like out of the egg, but they're still in the membrane. And I think it takes 10 days for them from when they hatch the eggs to when they actually come out of the uh, membrane. And then I think it's, I don't know, six or eight weeks before they get their full frog legs and can bail out. And then this one here, they're pretty advanced. Um, let's see, this reflection's pretty bad here. Hey, don't be drinking that frog water. That's for the frogs. Anyways, there's some little tadpoles in here. And then there's also some eggs over here on the side. And I think the frogs like to lay their eggs in small little bodies of water that are not really moving and that are kind of temporary because if they laid them in areas where the water was moving in like big ponds, I think the fish eat a lot of them, so I think they really prefer to um, lay them in little smaller bodies of water, temporary. Alright, this is my new pets. They're actually very beneficial for the garden too. They eat the slugs and I think lots of other kind of bugs and beetles and stuff. But then I think the snakes eat these, which the snakes are good too. But then to these water containers, if I leave these out, when the weather starts picking up, 
getting warmer, it'll promote uh, mosquitoes, which I don't want that. So I'm hoping that these guys will all be uh, frogs by the time I have to dump them, because I don't want mosquitoes. All right, a little frog talk on Friday. Friday frog talk.